Valentin Mayer, it's um, in Oldenburg, Germany. I started at a really low level. I mean, I'm, uh, I was playing rhythm for a while, and uh, for 20 years. <laughs> and I never really got into playing um, soul style and uh, like more um, creative uh, souls. And so um, I thought I'd do it uh, like um, really professionally from the beginning on. So, yeah, it was, uh, I think it was, it was a good start to um, even learn, like, um, I don't know, Tom has a lesson about thumb muting, um, uh, like, you know, all these lessons. <laughs> and so that was really helpful for me to get um, even my basic technique right for, for playing solos because I muted with my, it's the palm, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I always did, which works great for rhythm. Um, that was completely new to me, and now that I kind of get into it, <laughs> I'm still working on it, but it's, it's actually really helping playing clean. I, I had a bunch of guitar teachers um, over the years. Um, I always started with someone and uh, dropped lessons after a while. And um, my, my, my goals were, first was learning songs. That was when I started, and I had a really old school teacher who taught me like roll over the open and stuff <laughs> and so um, that was all right it didn't really help so I started playing punk rock because that was the only thing cool I could think of which I could make from roll over the open um, almost uh, the sonics or something but then um, uh, I had like a teacher who was teaching me to, to play like a little bit more funky guitar and um, a little bit more like imitating styles of, of others so I, I did that for a while and that worked very well for me, um, but like, I don't know, maybe four years ago or five years ago I, I really wanted to change my, change my style and um, be more creative, even get into these uh, little more fusion style or um, uh, more solo guitar styles. And um, I had a teacher in, in the States where I lived for three years um, who was he was a friend of mine, but he was a Berkeley student. He was really good, and uh, he taught me like some basics about harmonics and um, how to uh, scales and some some picking techniques. Uh, but that was just three lessons. And um, back in Germany, I didn't find anyone uh, suiting my goals. I mean, there was there's a bunch of great teachers around here, I'm sure, but um, at least not in Oldenburg. <laughs> um, and so um, I searched around on the internet and I was just happy to find Tom and uh, I was, I mean first I was kind of uh, reluctant because I thought like how can you do that on, on video and audio lessons but um, I mean he's giving us so much material and there's so much stuff to work on and um, I mean he's got the experience of I don't know how many thousands of students so um, I mean, I had it two times now that I was like, damn, I, I gotta work on this and that, and I didn't have to tell Tom about it, but um, he got it laid out for me like that, so that um, there was like practicing when you don't have a lot of time, and uh, there was uh, practicing when you were away from the guitar, which happens to me far too often, but I always came in time, so I um, take these lessons and add them to my practice routine, and um, I think they really help a lot. I mean, I saw some of the videos um, uh, that are available for free uh, and I just found Tom to be a very um, motivating speaker and um, I, yeah, he kind of got me with that and I thought like, okay, let's give it a try. Um, I didn't know his music before, if I had known it, I would have jumped on the train <laughs> a lot earlier. <laughs> I mean, he's a fantastic player and um, uh, everything he says about music and about creativity and being the virtuoso guitarist um, is um, like what I think is true and um, which uh, helps me think creatively about music. He told me to use the practice generator so you can um, lay out your lessons more effectively and that's true and um, that totally works for me and I, now I have a, like a small timer 
um, which I set to like five minutes and then I go practice uh, scales and then I go back to the timer and like ten minutes and I do the patches or whatever. Um, so that really helps and um, um, I have to, I, I, actually it's like, I mean you, you have uh, in, in real world you have guitar lessons and you go to your guitar teacher um, maybe twice a month and then um, before you go there you're like, oh damn I didn't practice. And then you <laughs> two, two days before that you're like playing everything you know. Um, and it's similar with Tom's lessons and he also said that when he wrote an email he said like, it's good to have the next lesson coming on even if you're not done. Because it gives you like a push and you, you start practicing a little bit more. And that actually works for me too. So it's always in the beginning of the month I'm a bit slower and then I start picking up. And, um, but yeah, one thing I wanted to say about the lessons was um, that the way they are laid out is um, surprisingly smart. I mean, it's uh, Tom can hardly know every uh, student he has uh, in detail, but he lays out his lessons so it feels like he's doing it exactly for you. He always hits my needs and um, um, it's just like I, I know that if I work lesson by lesson and integrate these things into the next lesson, like I mean, there's some of the scales I can work on like in the next lesson. And, um, I know it's building up to, to um, a certain point. And um, I know that I can do a lot more, <laughs> but <laughs> um, yeah, but it, it's, it's a fantastic resource. For me, one of the benefits is uh, doing like, everything on the internet because I can do my own schedule. It's, uh, I don't have to go anywhere, I don't have to rely on the, um, uh, on the, on the time planning of someone else. I can just pick my lessons and go through them whenever, wherever I want. And um, I have like the audio and, and uh, video I have on my um, iPhone, <laughs> and I take it with me. And when I go somewhere to visit friends or so, I can even um, watch some of the videos there and um, do some practicing there. Uh, for me, it's, it's the, the one, uh, the one and only way I could do it right now. Just can't go like every Thursday to see my guitar teacher.